Lynn had fallen ill in 1991. She was diagnosed with a severe form of ME, which attacked her body relentlessly. By May, she was in a wheelchair. Her voice had gone to a whisper. She was diff having difficulty swallowing. She couldn't remember people or things or places. A sort of a physical destruction in a way. Yes, yeah. Then we realized that nobody had the answer. There wasn't a magic cure. This is Lynn in her sickbed. She was filmed for a documentary on ME, which showed how, from her 15th birthday, she was paralyzed from the waist down and could only be fed through a tube. It was a conscious decision that I was going to look after, and I told her many times, for as long as it takes, I'll be here, I'll look after Did you. Did she then worry about what she was doing to your life? Yeah, she said that on occasions, but um, she wasn't difficult to look after. She didn't complain. She might lie and cry in pain sometimes, but she didn't complain. And in fact, I, I was honored to spend so much time with her. She was a wonderful person because she was so determined. She was very, very strong. She was a real fighter. But her body was giving up. Over 16 years, she would be in hospital 50 times with a succession of serious illnesses. How's that, Lynn? Right. You feel better once you have something in your tongue. Kay was there constantly for her daughter, but so was the pain. They both lived on hope. One day, Lynn would recover. She was such a beautiful girl, I could imagine her looking absolutely stunning in something like that. Yes. She was going to make up for the time that she's lost and so shy. Well, she was it was the time she never had. Bad, yeah, yeah, but she was hoping that she would be the young mm. woman mm. going out to occasions mm. to um, to uh, wear the stuff mm. <sighs> yeah did you feel though watching her at some point you maybe were ahead of her thinking I don't know how to tell you this but that I don't think this is beatable yeah say whatever is causing the ME goes away she's now left with all these very very significant conditions and she had osteoporosis with 50% bone loss. She had broken bones just by being moved. Total adrenal failure, ongoing anemia, liver dysfunction, hypothalamic dysfunction. You've given, a, you've given a list there which is, is enough to end it. Premature life. ovarian failure. So, but, yeah. so well, I mean, even that on its own is, was a signal to her she would never have children. She got to the point herself that she said, I'm too broken, you can't fix me anymore. She felt her only escape was to die. And she tried to break free in May 2007, attempting suicide. 